Hi, welcome to Brick Vault. I'm Bob, and today we've got a Lego City set, and it's the fire station. This set is recommended for ages 6 to 12. It's set number 60110, and it contains 919 pieces. Included are six minifigs. We've got four firefighters, the fire chief, a hot dog man, and a dog. Included in the set also are three vehicles and three buildings. All right, this is a big old set. I am really excited to open this, so let's get it open. All right, we've got 10 bags, a bag of plates, a Twizzler, and a bag full of manuals and stickers. Let's get started. Just finished this awesome huge build so why don't we check out the minifigs first first up is our fire chief he's got black pants and a white shirt with a badge and a tie detailing in case you're unsure who's in charge this guy comes with a gold fire helmet so that pretty much sums it up and it looks pretty awesome too so let's take a look at the three firefighters he's in charge of they've got black fire suits with neon green and silver highlights the printed on details show walkie-talkies flashlights pockets and more they each have different faces, some still with soot or ash on them. And here they are with their equipment on. A very cheerful bunch of firefighters, and the masks on these guys look pretty darn awesome. And let's see our heli pilot now. He's got the same detailing as the other firefighters, but he comes with cool glasses and an awesome helmet. And let's check out the hot dog guy in Dalmatian. He's really well dressed for a guy selling hot dogs. I'd mistake him for a French chef if it wasn't for the lime green hat he's wearing. The Dalmatian and him are probably really good friends. Dogs do like those hot dogs. All right, let's check out the station itself now. It is composed of three different structures. First is the hangar for the fire truck. It's got doors that slide up in this really cool motion. And I guess we can't take a look at the hangar for the fire truck until we take a look at the fire truck itself. All right, where to begin with this guy? Well, why don't we start with the biggest, most massive feature, which is this huge extending arm. It's got space to hold one minifig, and I really like these hydraulics that work out really well on the bottom. And going along with the extending arm, we've got these four stabilizers that fold out in the back. That way the truck doesn't shake around and our minifig doesn't fall out of the top. And what fire truck wouldn't be complete without a fire hose? The hose is connected to a cord that unwinds and it also has a compartment right next to it that holds extra water studs to help put out the fire. The front compartment has space to seat our one minifig driver and the doors open. Now let's move to the top of the hangar. 
And of course, there's nothing to see here. Oh wait, I guess we could take a look at the helicopter. At first glance, it looks like a simple single-seater helicopter. But upon closer inspection, you can see it's got an awesome set of decked out features. In the front we have an opposable floodlight and an opposable water cannon. And you can see in the middle there's a big yellow water tank. And the water cannon can be loaded from the back compartment which holds blue water stud shots. Definitely a cool helicopter and also any fire department's dream to have. Moving on to the main lobby. It's three stories tall but let's start on the top. On top we've got uh, some satellite dishes, an AC unit, and our fire emblem. Oh and I guess there's this other yellow thing. And of course we have our fire pole for easy exits when there's a fire alarm. The minifig just straps into the handles and spins all the way down. And in the third floor we have a set of bunk beds. They don't look too comfy, but I'm sure the minifigs will make do. On the second floor we have our room for dispatch. You can see tons of technical readouts, including a map of the city, and this is probably where the fire chief normally hangs out. And on the first floor there's a very cool feature, a rotating turnstile door. On the inside there's a coffee pot and a chair, but look at this door and how it rotates. I could spin it all day, and I will. Okay, moving on to the next hangar. On top we've got a big old satellite dish, uh, and on the bottom we've got a pretty awesome car for the fire department. The car itself is designed very simply. It could be a mini version of an expedition. It's got just enough space for one minifig and his fire equipment. The doors do open, but you can only get the minifig in or out by taking the top off. It looks like a very fast and zippy car. And the last feature of this building is a tool rack on the right side that holds a variety of firefighting gadgets. And here is the whole set we can barely fit it in the shot. There's lots of similarities between this fire station and last year's. But I gotta say I'm leaning a little bit closer to 2016. Well, this is a really cool set. I'm really happy I got the chance to build this one myself. But if you like it out there, make sure to click on the link in the video description below. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Brick Vault. Yeah.